We're back at Druid Hill Park and moving on from their beloved polar bears to their abundance of crowd-pleasing penguins. For 45 years, they called this Rock Island home, but as pretty as it was, in 2014, the birds were moved to the Penguin Coast. You don't always hear a zoo making a huge deal over a new flightless bird exhibit, but this goes far beyond the hype. At over 15,000 square feet, they say it's the largest outdoor penguin facility in the country. The birds can completely circle the island that's designed to mimic a South African fishing hut, and you can do the same out here and in the education center where there you'll learn about the world's other penguins, their environment and predators, and you can sit down or try to get their attention at the underwater view. But here's what really sets this apart from other penguin havens. In the same building, you can stand under a dump tank that drops 1,000 gallons over your head before falling into a tidal pool that rushes into the other 184,000 gallons of fresh water to create waves for the birds which are several white-breasted cormorants, pink-backed pelicans, and the coast opened with about 70 African penguins. And this population just keeps on growing. In 2018, the zoo welcomed their 1,000th chick. And last I heard, this group now numbers somewhere in the 90s. But they're not going for some kind of record here because they claim this is already evidently the largest African penguin colony in North America. After all that, you probably won't be surprised when I say this is the greatest of its kind I've ever seen. $11 million well spent, and clearly someone at the AZA must have thought so too. Because the Penguin Coast received the Top Honors Best Exhibit Award for being a dynamic, immersive habitat that provides the best in animal care and public education. And that wraps things up here. Next time you hear from me, we'll be taking a look at what I call this area's sister exhibit. Stay Stay tuned and thank you for watching.